If I could explain an incident which sums up the feeling I have about it. The first person I met was a girl from Australia. We sat down at a table and at the table there were three students and introduced ourselves and it's as if we'd met a long time ago. And that sort of incident typifies the experience I've always found at ATM. Now the strange thing is we went to the quiz we gravitated to the same five people because there were five in the team and immediately again we gelled and, and it wasn't about the mathematics it was about meeting people mm. but it's but people with a common interest common interest when I first started teaching I needed help I got in touch with the local branch um, and Bill Brooks I owe an enormous debt to and it was Bill Brooks who put me on the straight and narrow <laughs> so oddly enough the cup we won last night a real that cup. cup a real cup and on it it had mathematics is not a spectator sport yeah. and, and that's what Bill would say yeah. if we were still around I think that I think about having come all these years uh, as you say you, you start off because you don't know anything and uh, when you end up knowing nothing either, but uh, at least you uh, you know what sort of questions to ask, uh, and you come and everything is new, and gradually you, you meet things that are old hat in a way, but somehow even the old hat things are still presented in a new sort of way. And every time I come, I there's always something new, uh, and even in my own seminars, because at most conferences I've done the seminar, I. Uh, a lot of it's the same material that I've done before, but I, I certainly find new ways of presenting it and certainly new reactions from the teachers I'm working with. Yeah. Uh, but in any case, um, there's always something stimulating, something, even, even if people are talking about things you know, there are still things that make you think. Yeah. And you may not, uh, it's not a case of adopting somebody else's, eyes, somebody else's ideas, but if they have different ideas, then you are forming reforming your own ideas in relation to theirs. I needed to pick up lots of ideas. I just, historically, when I joined ATM, I'd just uh, not long taken over a head of department's job for um, three years into teaching. At break time in the morning, they'd say, hey, John, give me an idea. And it was ATM who gave me the, the odd little pictures in my head which I could spring out as, a, as an excitement, as a surprise, something unexpected and I got a lot of street cred from the, my own staff for knowing the secrets, if you like, of a society who passed on, freely passed on, generously and that, that's, that's the great thing about ATM that I've always valued and that's why I keep coming. Yeah, I, still, I felt that the same when I was a head of the department at the same sort of time you were. Um, ATM was a support, so, and, and you didn't feel that you were alone in the sort of things you were doing because we were we were both experimenting all the time. We had the support of the whole association right. behind us. Yeah, the very first conference I went to, I was in the bedroom right next to a Canadian professor of mathematics. I thought to myself, here am I, sleeping next door to somebody who's really great. <laughs> uh, it's very odd, but that feeling of meeting great people, Catenio and various others, have, we've met them over the years, and I just couldn't have ever experienced that or ever hoped to have done in any other way. Uh, but they didn't come just to give lectures. They came and they sat at the table at lunchtime and uh, dinner time and talked to everybody and a lot of discussion went on as well. But there's more free time here. This is one of the most important parts of the conference, conversations with other people. The meal times, the times in the bar, the times in the workshop, times to talk to people. Yeah, and snippets of conversation, even overhearing, listening to three or four different conversations accidentally hearing somebody mentioning something and suddenly turning and realising they're actually talking about something very exciting, something you've not heard of. That kind of support system I needed to replicate when I was doing the same job of teacher training later on. You know, there's a sort of equality. It's not that there are great people around, although we know there are, but uh, that doesn't mean that uh, 
that you are inferior in any way because everybody's equal here and I'm trying to think uh, certainly in my two sessions this time uh, I probably said less than most of the other people in the group the seminar is a function of the people who come along they may not know it at the time but and looking back it's a friendship it's a, an association of ideas an association of people it's often been described as recharging the batteries. My battery's obviously running down a bit now. So yes, well, I mean, we're, we're both we, retired, aren't we? So both why, why, why do we still come? Good question.